Here I just want to show you the main difference between Excel formulas and DAX formulas. I'm sure that most of you have had some exposure to Excel, some are probably very good at Excel, and you're just starting your journey uh, in understanding DAX and getting into Power BI. Now, there's some pretty major differences between um, Excel formulas and DAX formulas, um, but there's also a lot of similarities. A lot of similarities. So the it's not that difficult to transition from Excel into Power BI. Some of you may even already know that. The example that I want to give here, though, is, is possibly the, the first big difference that you have to get your head around, at least you've got to be aware of when you're moving into DAX formulas. That is that Excel formulas are, are cell-based formulas, whilst in DAX, everything is column-based. So everything that you reference inside a DAX formula is generally going to be from some column inside a table. And so I'll just uh, work through an example and I'll showcase what I mean. So, and this is another big difference as well, is that all formulas inside of Excel are, are become physically located in your file. But measures, especially measures inside of um, that you run, that uh, utilize the DAX language, they are actually virtual calculations. So what I'm doing here, you don't even have to do in, in Power BI, but I, I want to do it to showcase to you um, a, a big point or a big difference between the two formulas. So first of all, I'm going to get, I'm going to do a VLOOKUP here to get the price, to get the price of this product, uh, which is here. Uh, I've just got to go equals, obviously. So I'm going to go um, and reference this cell, so B2, and then I'm going to jump to the products table and I'm going to go and find the current price, which is in row uh, column seven, and then push enter. And so <clears throat> you can see here that this B2 uh, is referenced or is different for every single uh, row here. So it's a, it's a cell-based formula language. It goes and references a cell. And then we could then go and calculate, I guess, total revenue from here. And again, to do that, uh, to do that, we need to reference cells, right? So I would go equals one times the price there, and then I would uh, go down, um, go down the column to get the results for everything else. And then you just see that here that everything is a cell reference. Now, inside of Power BI, though, everything is a column reference. So if we if we just jump to our total sales up here, now that this total sales is uh, what's called an iterating formula, and this quant this quantity here is a column inside the sales table, and this current price is a column inside the products table, right? So if we jump to them, you'll see you'll see that for yourself inside of Power BI, you'll see here that this quantity is actually a column. And that's how, this is, this is how uh, everything in, in DAX works. Everything is referenced via a column instead of a cell. So I just want to make you aware of this. You'll learn a lot more about how to write formula inside of DAX, including calculated columns and measures uh, shortly. Um, but uh, the key, key, key point to note here, the key difference um, that you need to be very aware of as you start learning DAX is that Excel is cell-based and every formula or DAX formula that you write inside of Power BI is always column-based. It's always a column reference that you need to make. So thinking in, um, in terms of tables and columns is, is the Power BI way of thinking, and thinking in terms of cells is the, um, is the Excel way of thinking. So there's a bit of a switch that you need to make in your mind. Uh, it certainly becomes easier as you start writing more and more formula, so practice, um, practice and practice some more. That's the absolute key. Um, but um, but uh, hopefully now, now, now that you've um, listened to this video, you're very aware of that uh, initial, initial difference between the two.